boys and girls. It's good to see you today. I hope you get out and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful day that God has given us today. Um, I want to go over with you um, what happened next in the final week of Jesus' life before he was crucified. Um, he got together with his apostles um, and he talked about uh, why he was going to Jerusalem. It was to celebrate the Passover. You remember our vacation Bible school um, when we talked about Moses. You will remember the Passover. It was a Jewish feast that started back when Moses and the children of Israel, the night that God rescued them from Egypt, from the Pharaoh, from slavery. And they were to be ready. They were not to cook that night so they could be ready to leave when Moses said, go, we can go. And they were given an instruction, a couple instructions. They were to take a lamb a spotless lamb that had no flaws or blemishes on it. Nothing was wrong with it. And they were to sacrifice it, kill it, and they were put to put blood on the sides of their door and over their door so that when the angel of death came through Egypt, nobody in their home would be killed. Well, Every year, the Jews, the Israelite people, celebrated the Passover. Jews even celebrate that today, still. And back in Jesus' time, and back in the Old Testament even, they would travel to Jerusalem for the Passover. But they would celebrate it in their homes. And it was the day that they remembered when Jesus, when God rescued them from the Pharaoh, okay? Now, fast forward to Jesus' time on the earth, he is celebrating that Passover meal for the last time with his apostles, his closest followers. And he does something for them that is very, very humble, very kind, and shows them what kind of a leader he is. He's a servant leader. And we're going to read about that, and then we will do our folder activity about the Passover. Okay? Washing the disciples' feet. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus took water and a cloth and wrapped a towel around his waist. He filled a bowl with water and washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. When it was Peter's turn... Peter said, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, as I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. Jesus told them, one of you will turn against me tonight. His disciples were shocked and said, We would never do that. Who will turn against you? John asked. The one who dips this piece of bread in the wine with me is the one who will betray me, Jesus said. He handed it to Judas and said, Do what you must. Judas left quickly. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and he blessed it. 
He broke it into pieces and gave it to his disciples to eat. He said, This bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine. And when he had blessed it, he gave it to the disciples to drink. And he said, This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where I'm going, you cannot come yet. I'm going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you, but I will return to you soon. At first, you will be very sad and frightened. But don't be frightened. Soon you will understand and you will be filled with joy. Okay, so Jesus was celebrating the Passover with his disciples. What book in the Bible tells us about the Passover? Here we have the doors. See the doors? Okay, and we have blood. Do you know which book of the Bible this is in? It's a book that is named after going out. Genesis, Exodus, right. Exodus is the book of the Bible that tells about the Passover, the first Passover. The first Passover was celebrated by who? Who celebrated the first Passover? We talked about it, remember? The children of Israel or the Jewish people. What's another name for Passover? We didn't talk about this, so you might not know this one. It's called in scripture the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now you can understand that because they didn't have time to bake their bread because they had to be ready to leave quickly. So on the Passover, they never cooked or baked, but they had unleavened bread. And when Jesus celebrated that feast with his disciples, he had unleavened bread, but he brought in something new. He said, from now on, when you take this bread, when you eat this bread, this unleavened bread, remember me. This is my body. I'm giving it for you. Remember me. They were to take a lamb without what? What was the lamb to be without? Okay, one word is spot or flaw. But another word we used was blemish. Blemish. What were they to put on the two side posts and over the door? I know you remember that one. The blood of the lamb. And Jesus was going to be the lamb of God that gave his life once for his children, for all the people. And his blood was shed and covers our sins. Just like the blood covered the doorway back in the time of Moses. What were they to eat? Oh, we didn't go over all this. On the feast, they had uh, lamb. So they had meat, they had bitter herbs. If you remember in Vacation Bible School, the bitter herbs were to remind them of the tears of the Israelites when they were slaves in Egypt. Then they had the unleavened bread because they couldn't bake their bread. What happened to the houses where the blood was sprinkled on the doorpost? Did the angel visit there or did the angel pass over the angel passed over right 
Thus the title, that's where we get the title for the feast, Passover. And what happened to the firstborn of each house in Egypt? Each household of Egyptians, what happened to them? They died, right? Okay. We will see you later on in the week. Remember to look at your little packets that Aaron sent. There's some fun activities there that you could do that go along with um, each day of this final week of Jesus' life leading up to his crucifixion and resurrection from the dead. Okay, God bless you. I love you all. Bye.